really believe that mothers and children are like you know these men that don't take care of their children or these men that cheat on the woman that's pregnant with their child or postpartum with their child if the father of your child left you to raise your child by yourself i want to play a video for you real quick don't take care of your children you're on your way to hell right he had denied the faith what he had denied the faith you don't take care of your children you're on your way to hell in first timothy chapter 5 verse number 8 the bible says if anyone does not provide for his own relative and especially for members of his household he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever this is paul writing to timothy when he had made timothy a church overseer paul had told timothy this because he wanted the fathers in the house of god to be responsible this particular video a single mother took to her tiktok page played a video of pastor gino Janis about baby daddies who have become irresponsible and does not want to take care what will happen to them when they die now watch how wonderfully this lady plays the video of pastor gino Janis and the amazing message he had for every single mother and also baby daddies who do not take care of their own children as you watch this video leave your comments under the comment section if the father of your child left you to raise your child by yourself i want to play a video for you real quick don't take care of your children you're on your way to hell right he had denied the faith what he had denied the faith you don't take care of your children you're on your way to hell he had the did you hear what i said that's right every man black white yellow brown red orange if just stripe it hey. i want to show you how god feel about bums but if any if any provide not for his own provide not for his own and especially for and those especially for those of his own house of his own house he had denied the faith no he's in the church he had denied the faith he denied the faith and his worse he's what worse what worse what worse worse than what then an infidel and so you can't complain if that woman or children don't respect you that's because right. not even god respect you that's right a man that's a real man he'll go without a roof to make sure his kids have one a man that's a real man will go without a shirt and make sure his sons and daughters have one that's right that's why right. bring a child in the world and you can't take care of it go ahead bro. you looking for everybody else to take care of it yeah. other than yourself yeah there's too many women that don't want to work but left with no choice to work tired exhausted working to take care of their kids while the husbands are doing nothing five months go by and give the girl a dollar they say well at least that's something <laughs> they have no respect for no man Go ahead. who won't take care of his own amen if you get a child of wedlock you still take care of it still take care. you're on your way to hell these men have so many demons attached to them that if you saw them you wouldn't want to be around this person you wouldn't want to sleep with this person you wouldn't want to live with this person you would never want to be around this person okay you need to start praying and coming against every demon and the father of your child's life in the mighty name of Jesus. You need to pray every single night that anybody in his life that is sent to hold him back from being a great man or a great father be removed from his life in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm not playing when I tell y'all to start praying for the father of your child that's a deadbeat. I know a lot of you might be like, why would I pray for him? I will never forgive him. I will never pray for him. Let me tell you something. You're probably the only woman praying for him. All those people around him, best believe they're not praying for him. They have demons they're trying to fight off too. They just don't talk about it. Nobody wants to talk about these things, but let me tell you something. The moment you stop praying for the father of your child is the moment you let the enemy win. No matter what the father of my child has done to me, has said to me, has put me through, has treated me, I pray for him every single night faithfully. It costs nothing to pray for someone. Don't ever stop praying for the father of your child i really believe that mothers and children are like a forgotten species in our modern day society like you become a mom and then suddenly you're like pushed out go find your mommy and me group go figure it out on your own um and we'll see you when you can be productive that was a great work from pastor Gino Genis, one kind of minister within these end times who is 
so vocal when it comes about the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and will preach the gospel that is uncompromised, will preach the gospel that is unadulterated, will preach the gospel that is uncontaminated. It's one kind of a minister that preaches the gospel to powers that be. It's one kind of minister who preaches the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ to the powers that be. He preaches the gospel without favoritism. He preaches the gospel to make sure that he's speaking exactly what is written. He will call what is a sin a sin and what is holy, holy. And we thank God for such a voice like Pastor Genogenes. Now, after the sermon of Pastor Genogenes, the mind of God, the take of God over this particular issue is settled. Now, we have to understand or come to a point or in a terms of agreement that the God of the Bible is a God of justice and God of judgment. That whatever you do on earth, you will account for in the day of judgment. So the Bible said it is appointed unto a man to die at once. But after the death of man, there is judgment. And so whatever we are doing on earth right now, we have to be extra, extra careful. The word of God is very plain and clear that any man who neglects his relative, that any man who neglects his wife, any man who decides not to take care of his own children, not to take care of the children he brought into this world, such a man is worse than an unbeliever. Now you must understand that if a believer fails to provide for his children, for his wife, or for his household members, the Bible is calling such a believer worse than an unbeliever, then you must understand that there is a huge judgment or punishment to men who are living in this world, who have brought children and yet do not even care whether these children eat, whether these children are okay, whether the children are living well, whether they go to school or how even their children survive. Scripture is very clear that God will definitely punish them. The lady that gave a latter sermon, now I will agree with her whatever she had said, even though that particular message may not sound sensible logically, but as a spiritual woman or a Christian, you should be able to see some sort of sense in what this lady is saying. This is because in these particular days, you and I understand that one of the greatest weapon of the enemy against men, one of the greatest weapon of the devil against men, both the unbelievers and believers, is the sin of immoralities, a sexual sin. It is one particular kind of sin that the enemy is bombarding both unbelievers and believers with. And even when we come to talk about it or we begin to look at it from the church perspective, you won't be sure what is even happening. Because we are in a time where even in churches today, even in churches today, we have pastors that have fallen victim to sexual sins and have become addicted to fornication, to adultery that they cannot even stop. We have believers who have become a slave to this kind of sins. We have either prayer warriors, apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers of the word of God that have fallen a victim to this kind of sin. And so it is sad, it is painful that as a woman or as a lady, you gave birth with a man that the man has left you. It is very painful, but I believe that if we can pray for them, God can do something about their life. If we can pray for them, God can do something with their life. If we can pray for them, definitely God can turn their hearts around. We live in days where we have so many women today who are so lazy. I'm speaking about the daughters of Jezebel who have made up their mind that when it comes about work, when it comes about, you know, doing something for themselves that helps them to earn a living, they will never do. Some of these ladies are with the mentality that men should provide for them. 
and you and I bear records that in these particular times, to find responsible men is a major problem today. And so other ladies today do not even care to go out with other people's husbands. There are ladies today who are dating other people's husbands and they care less. All that they care about is the financial benefit that they gain from such relationships. There are other ladies that are busy destroying the homes of other women, regardless of whether the man has two children, whether the man has three children, whether the man has four children, that he is supposed to be responsible, he is supposed to provide, he is supposed to care for his immediate family, they care less about such kind of marriages. To them, what matters is the financial benefit. To them, what matters is the financial benefit, income that comes to them, that they are willing to go to any extent, even if you are a married man. Once you've got money to spend on them, once you've got money to spend on them, to spend on their needs, their, their needs, on, on their beauty, on their looks, they care less about the identification of the man they are dealing with, whether the man is a married man or whether the man has children. And so this particular issue is very rampant today in our society that when you begin to see things in this manner, you will come to a certain level of agreement with this lady that as a spiritual lady or as a spiritual sister who is a victim to this particular issue on board, you will have to see it that way and pray for a man you've had a child with. For a man, probably you've had a child, whether one, whether two or three children. It is, there is a need for us to intercede for them. There is a need for us to pray for them. Even though scripture is plain, scripture has already provided the final verdict of God's action or judgment over such people. But as a Christian, we are supposed to make certain prayers for those kind of people. It is very crucial. It is very important. We don't have to ignore them. We don't have to say just because they are not fulfilling their daily responsibility as a man, their daily responsibility as a father, their daily responsibility as a husband, we care less about them. Now, the problem is that you see, there is, different, there is a difference between a man, a husband, and then a father. And sometimes a person may be so romantic, a man may be so romantic, but that does not mean that that particular man is a husband or a father. Now you know that most of the time these men are moved and carried away by their lust of flesh to the point that they lack self-control and at the point they can't even control themselves. So there should be a need where sisters and brothers pray for brothers who are for, for, for brothers who have children with other people and yet care less about their children, care less about how their children go to school, how his son goes to school, how the wife pays the fees of the son, or how the wife pays the fees of the daughter, how do they even survive, how 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 everything goes. It is necessary that believers must pray for such people. Though scripture is plain and clear, though the word of God is already determined that those people that fails to provide for the children they brought into this world, those baby daddies, God's judgment is clear and plain that they are worse than unbelievers. Now, if scripture is saying that just for the fact that a man does not cater or provide for his family or children, he is worse than unbeliever, then what is this particular scripture trying to tell you? That even that if, if, if that is so, then definitely God's judgment on both unbelievers and believers might be even higher than what we think. And so, though that is the reality we see in today's life, seeing our sisters, seeing our mothers without husbands, without the same men that impregnated them, without the same men who made promise to them and made them to believe that they are going to be with them, but are no longer in their lives, well, we have to pray for them and trust God for a touch and trust God for repentance and trust God 
for a change of mind. Now, this is about global prayers. Like this particular video, share with me your opinion under the comment section, and then put me on the bell notification icon. I will be seeing you again in my next episode. Stay always blessed, shalom, and anointed.